Hello nerds, we're gonna unbox the premium set from the latest WizKids Miniatures from Paizo, which is the Ruins of Last Fall. And so every set comes with a premium big large figure. This one is Cemetery of the Fallen. And I left out, if you wanna to go to the previous video, I, I unboxed some of the miniatures, but this is the graveyard. Here's what's included in the package. You can see lots of neat set pieces. So let's open them up and see what we get. All right, so this comes out at the end of May right now. So as you're watching this, you can get an early look. And also, as you're watching this, you can listen to me struggle getting this box open. It is not coming easily. There it goes. All right, so we got this out of the package and I will take these out one by one to give you a look at what's inside. First you'll see, we gotta have these with a, with a nice graveyard. These wrought iron punch pieces. Sorry about the rattling in your ears. That plastic is not fun to listen to, I'm sure. It's a good solid pieces. They look sharp. Four of them seems like a nice number. You can you can create corners and wall pieces. Put a little break in the wall. I think that's nice. But it also comes with a couple smaller fence pieces that are a little more deep up in a good way because it gives it that little bit of a little bit of charm. The graveyard can be charming at all. So you can put those here. Pretend that maybe the graveyard's been broken into and some fencing has collapsed. Look at this perfect fence. Oh, I did not realize that the gate opened, but I should have, because Wiz Kids usually thinks of all the great things to do to make it fun. And one of them is a nice gate that opens up so that's good as you can see we're already making a nice little graveyard scene for the shark table but before that i won't punch them all out it's super loud there are six of these i'll punch out of just a couple head stones so you can get a look at it and then i'll punch out a couple of them crooks so you can get a look at that save your ears from any future. There are five of these, actually four, and one that I'm going to touch out for this unique. I'm sorry for the sound. That has a flat top. And listen, we know that PC is going to be grabbed and placed on here as a sacrifice by a couple skeletons. We know that's going to happen. Let's not fight it. Just go with it. Roll for initiative. And the last but not least is this great, great piece here. Let's see if the, oh, it absolutely does. The door opens inside. It's a good looking, does the top come off? It does not. But gosh, we just know that that is full of skeletons. And the reason I left this out, these figures from Ruins of Last Fall, is there is a lot of undead in the set in a, in a great, great way, including a fun cycle pump to help transport folks to the land of the undead. There is a skeleton reading a tablet. It's a great... It's a great set. Let's see what else we have undead. Looking around, of course, we have a demon. That's maybe even too scary for our CR3 characters. We're, we're, saying, we're saying level three, why not? Oh, look at this skeleton, of course. The skeleton will walk out of the, the crypt, but the grade. So if you follow Pathfinder at all, you know that Phrasma Lady of Death, 
just sitting upon her throne. I got her in the previous set. I'm pretty excited about that. She, with her loyal cycle pump, um, is going to preside over the TPK that you'll surely have in your next adventure. But that is the premium set for the latest runes of last fall release from WizKids, Pathfinder Battles. You would think that after about a dozen of these, they would be getting lame and sad, but gosh, they just keep getting better and better. And here's what is included in the box. It's a great set. As you can see, this is the kind of set that will get a lot of use at the game table. So hope you enjoy. Later, nerds.